If you live in the UK and you keep amphibians as a hobby, this video is going to be really important to you because it's all about the legal changes that are happening that could well affect our hobby. So what is this legislation that I'm talking about? Well, it's this. It is the Commission Implementing Decision EU 2018-320 on certain animal health protection measures for intra-union trade in salamanders and the introduction into the union of such animals in relation to the fungus B. sal. So it's legislation, EU legislation, that was brought in while the UK was still in the EU, which controls the movement of salamanders and newts or chordates within the EU between different countries and also in and out of the European Union. Now you might say, well, since Brexit, it doesn't apply to us, we've left the EU. Actually, what happened when the UK left the EU is a lot of UK legislation got tied up in UK law. Since then, the EU have actually scrapped this legislation. It's no longer enforceable within the EU. However, due to being tied up in UK legislation, it is still in force within the UK. What the UK government has said is that by the end of 2023, it is going to scrap all EU legislation. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean that after this year, we will be able to import and export salamanders again legally? Well, not necessarily, because the UK government has said that although it will scrap all EU legislation, it could well replace it with a specific UK law. So at the moment, we're kind of in limbo. We don't know next year whether we will be able to legally import and export salamanders or not. So do we want to? So is b cell still a problem? Yes. So then why has the EU scrapped this legislation? I don't know. So do we want this legislation scrapping in the UK? I don't know. I really am still quite concerned about b cell and about its threat to our hobby. And we don't want this disease be, being brought into the UK. At the moment, it's not been found in the wild in the UK. It was found in a captive collection of fire salamanders a few years ago, I believe. I think there's one or, one or two isolated cases in the UK. We don't want more of it coming in. We don't want this disease to be rife in UK collections. But on the other hand, we don't really want a permanent and all-encompassing ban on bringing salamanders into the UK because that doesn't really leave the hobby in good stead for the future. So maybe this is time for action. As cordate hobbyists in the UK, maybe we should be speaking to the government and telling them what we want for once. But what do we want? Do we want the legislation from the EU to be extended and implemented going forward in the UK? Or do we want it to be scrapped? Do we want it to be replaced with a UK law that controls the import and export of salamanders? Do we want an all-encompassing ban? Or do we want controlled imports on a small basis? In fact, within this legislation, it does allow for controlled imports with animals going through a quarantine period upon arrival of the UK. Unfortunately, there is no recognised quarantine facility in the UK and it would cost a lot of financial investment to set one up. So perhaps that's what we need to be looking at doing anyway. Honestly, I don't know what the answer is. If you're keeping amphibians in the UK, I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below and let me know. Would you like to see a permanent ban of Corday imports going forward? Either way, it looks like next year things are going to change. So watch this space and I'll keep you updated if I hear anything else. Thanks for watching.